T. Mike Morrison, Kill Devil Hills Ocean Rescue Director. We're tasked with making sure that the ocean stays safe, that the people that go into the ocean stay safe. And basically what we have to do is monitor everyone that goes in the water to make sure that they are not getting in danger. We have to assess their skill level, whether or not they can swim or can't swim, and we have to monitor the water constantly. Uh, one of the big things that we talk about all year long is rip currents. We have many, many rip currents in this town. And basically, what a rip current is, it's just where the water comes close to shore and then it has to go back out to the ocean. It finds the path of least resistance, which is a low spot in the ocean floor, and it starts to rush out. We can spot these. It does take a trained eye at times to spot these. And when we do, in Kill Devil Hills, we have a marking system where we use red flags to close the beaches. But then on days like today, where the water is a little rough and we have rip currents, we take a yellow flag system and we mark it with a yellow flag. And in doing so, what that does is a lot of people get curious, especially when we're putting them out. So they come up and they talk to us, which is very good. We get to talk to the public a lot about the rip currents, educate them on them, make sure they stay away from them and don't swim in them. And if they do happen to get in one, basically we want to educate them on the fact the first and foremost thing is just don't panic. And that's very difficult to do. If you're not a good swimmer and you, you don't live at the beach or you're not around water a lot and you come down here and all of a sudden you're swimming towards the shore and you're going the other way. You feel like you're going to China and you start to panic. And that's when we get into a, uh, an operation where we have to react to that real quick or else it's going to be a serious, serious consequence. So basically what we have to do is make sure we mark the rips, we educate the public on the rip currents, and that we're very, very proactive in teaching people about the rip currents. Believe it or not, this man is in more danger than he would be in a lightning storm, a tornado, Get everybody down there. or a hurricane. He's caught in a rip current, and rip currents kill an estimated 100 people each year. That's more than lightning, tornadoes, or hurricanes. Rip currents are extremely strong. Olympic gold medal swimmer Ian Crocker knows better than to fight a rip current. Even as an experienced Olympic swimmer, I know better than to get myself caught in a rip current. The force is extremely strong and the water moves very fast and it's easy to lose control and lose focus of where you are in relation to the shore. A rip current is what happens when water piles up on shore, driven by winds and waves. Anytime you've got wind blowing on shore like this, and we have that a lot, you're going to have rip currents pulling. When conditions are right, the water funnels back out to sea in dangerously powerful narrow currents. And don't be fooled by a perfect day at the beach. Rip currents are often fueled by distant storms you can't even see. So how might you recognize one? If you look carefully, you'll see waves breaking on the right. You'll see a calm area in the middle and then waves on the other side. Right there in the middle is your rip current. It's deeper there, the waves aren't breaking, and the water's pulling straight out. If you're caught in a rip current, don't fight it. Swim in a direction following the shoreline. And when you're out of the current, swim at an angle towards the shore. Adults find their way into trouble really quickly. You can stay out of trouble by getting a rip current forecast before hitting the beach. Just go to the National Weather Service Surf Zone Forecast at www.ripcurrents.noaa.gov. And don't drop your guard once you're at the beach. Use your eyes. Look for the lifeguard tower. Swim near a lifeguard tower. Have a talk with the lifeguard about the surf conditions. Never swim alone and steer clear of piers and jetties where rip currents often form. Because as hard as it is to believe, this takes more lives than this. For the Weather Channel, I'm Nick Walker.